Today and tomorrow, we're extremely lucky. We've got Diego Gonzalez Rivas, the most famous thoracic surgeon in the world, who's come to teach us a brand new technique. And he's created a new technique literally in the last six months to fuse robotic surgery with what he does, which is single incision uniportal surgery. What we've normally done in the past is five incisions in the chest, but he can do what we do with five with just one. And the whole mission of this is to make it less painful, quicker recovery for our patients. Since September 2021, I started to think how to adjust this robot through a single incision. We uh, cancelled one arm, and by using only three arms with the, with the help of the assistant, we can do the robotic surgery through a single hole without the need of more incisions. So that means that we created a, a new approach, less invasive, with the robotic uh, help. So it's fantastic. I had a cancer diagnosed about a year and a bit ago. Um, the primary has been removed, but unfortunately I have potentially secondaries in my lungs. Um, today I'm in to have an operation to remove some of those potential secondaries to find out exactly what they are. We thought we'd give you a promotion uh, okay. on, the, uh, on the list, so, so we're going to put you up second, so that hopefully means we can get your operation done a bit quicker. The technique is, is completely revolutionary. It's so exciting, it's brand new. Diego, one of the surgeons, has come in specially to sort of explain and or show the team what he's done in this uniportal method with the robotics. I mean, I feel like a bit of a movie star. <laughs> So we'll take away the top of the lung where these things are, leaving you two other lobes, middle and lower lobe there, which will expand to fill the space, and one incision and a drain in, and then we want to get you up and about. This is my third dose of cancer. I had testicular cancer in 2015, and then moved into the lymph nodes in my stomach. Well, the last time when they cut me open, um, that took two months to heal. I had to roll out of bed, but he's saying that's going to be a lot quicker. That I'll be up and walking around. So I think I'm in very good, safe hands. This is 100% a 100 team effort. Actually, there's a secret. The surgeon bit's the easiest bit. Uh, setting this big robot up, getting the technology, getting it cleaned, ready, the costing of it, that's the difficult bit. I actually have the easiest bit of all in this place. We've got Diego at the bedside and we've got a lovely lady who has uh, multiple uh, pulmonary mets and we're going to remove, uh, we hope, probably four of them. We'd labelled three nodules but Diego with his magic finger has managed to identify the fourth nodule which is absolutely brilliant. So we've, uh, in the end, uh, resected five suspicious areas. We did a hybrid approach really of, uh, of robotic and then also we did some VAT stapling. So difficult case in the end, but we managed to get there. Lungs now nicely inflated and we're gonna close up and I hope she'll make a good recovery. So surgery day, initially I went into a scanner where all my tumors that they were gonna take out were marked with a day glow dye so that when they come to do the operation, they can actually see what they're doing. Three of them were marked up. They actually took five out, so I was delighted when I came round and I was told that, so that's all good. No need to worry. I would imagine that if somebody had told me I was going to have lung surgery and have five different areas of my lungs cut out in three different lobes, I would have thought I'd be out cold for ages, but actually I was up the same day, I was walking around. Yeah, I've been, I've been fine, I'm really pleased with the recovery. I actually feel very, very good. It's two days since the surgery since I last saw you, yeah, and I feel really, really good. As the hours are going by, now I've had the, the drain taken out, I feel fantastic. This is your upper lobe, there's your ribs, uh, and uh, these are the little robotic arms right. that are just going around. I box, I kick box, do a lot of training. They said four weeks before you can train, but I'll see how it goes by next week. I'll give it a week's rest, I'll give it a week's just to heal the little, the tiny, tiny little cut under my arm, which I haven't really seen yet because it's got a big bandage on it. But other than that, I'm, I feel great. Joel Dining is a, a fantastic surgeon. He's a leader also in thoracic surgery. 
uh, he will offer the patients uh, this, this technique uh, since now. So I'm sure that the patients will benefit from, from this approach for sure in all the region. Thank you.